Hi, my name is Bob Elliott with JCAM Scientific, and I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a typical reaction with our temperature controller. And during the video, we'll explain some of the other features that it has. This right here is, is, is a very classical setup in uh, synthetic chemistry. So you have the temperature controller. I, ha I can take any heater that I have in my laboratory. In this case, I have a heating metal, and this is the power cord that for the heating metal. I plug that directly into my controller. And then you need a temperature sensor, and in this case, I have a Teflon-coated thermocouple, and it plugs into my temperature controller. With the digital meter, when you're not touching anything, it always shows you the current sensed temperature of the temperature sensor. If I wanted to see what my set point was, I would just simply press the star button and hold it in. And as you can see, it's 80 degrees. And if I wanted to change my set point, I would hold in the star button and then I would press the up or the down arrow to get any temperature that I wanted to let go and that enters the new temperature. What's unique about JCAM's temperature controllers are a patented power control computer. This computer proportions power to the heating mantle or the vacuum oven or whatever heater you have plugged in 2048 times a second. That's how JCAM's controller, you can put one milliliter of solution in a five milliliter round bottom flask, put it into a five milliliter heating mantle and it'll still regulate that to 0.1 degree. The power control computer is you'll notice that it has various volume ranges on here. And so the power that's being sent out to that heater depends on the volume that you're heating. It, it's simple. I know that's about 180 milliliters, and so I'm gonna set it to the power level, which is 50 to 500 milliliters. It takes the signals from the PID meter, and then it adjusts that output 2048 times a second to just very exactly proportion power out to that heating mantle, which is how we can maintain 0.1 degrees centigrade. There's no other temperature controller on the market that has that precision. Some of our models have timers and some do not. This one does. This is our model 210 timer. And so <clears throat> what it lets me do, I can either turn on power continuously in that case, or I can set I can ask it to go to, I can set a time. So in this case, now it's going to go off in six hours and seven minutes. In reality, the best feature of JCAM's temperature controllers is they're accurate. If you ask for 80 degrees, you get 80 degrees. You don't get 79.4, you don't get 80.2, you get 80.0 degrees. With any heater, any volume, JCAM's controllers, plug in your controller, enter the set point you want, and walk away, because you're, you're done.